Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a med level solo corp guide. Now, it's pretty easy to actually kill corp if you do it the right way. And by doing this, what I mean is by lowering the stats of the corp. So what you want to do is have a dragon warhammer. This is going to lower the defense. And you want to make sure that you have good gear. The best gear to actually hit with a crush item um, is Inquisitor. So you want that. Then you also want your Dark Light. This is going to lower the defense more and also the attack and strength of the Corporal Beast. So it will not hit you as much. As you can see right there. And then the final thing that we need to do is 300 damage plus with the BGS. Now what this will do is lower the defense even more and it will lower the corpse magic level so its magic ability will not hit much on you you also want to be on bench um, just to do a little bit of extra damage whenever the corp does hit you um, it can just increase your damage a bit overall um, so you want to make sure that you've got bench runes and you also want to bring a cannon so what we're going to do to start off with is we're going to go in and we're going to put down the cannon you want to make sure that you have house teleport tabs also, all the runes, and you want to be teleporting to your house to get your spec back. So the spec, regenera uh, spec regeneration pool is highly, highly recommended to make this a lot better and to basically work um, because it's the best way to get your spec back in the game. So what you want to start off doing is doing your dragon warhammer specs you want to get three to four of these to hit and in inquisitor they hit pretty commonly um, it doesn't take too long to get the three to four hits with the dragon warhammer um, if you have inquisitor or some good bonusing gear all right so now we have got the warhammers done and we're going to use the dark light now i like to do 10 specs of the dark light that have hit the corp um, you can go anywhere in between in between 10 and 20 some people recommend 20 some me some people recommend only 10 I find that 10 seems to be enough um, to make the kills go very smoothly and that's on a medium level character so we're just about got the dark light specs done there we go we've got 10 specs we've actually got 11 so we want one over now it's time for the BGS we're going to do 300 plus damage with the BGS. Now, if you want to know how I get the numbers up on my screen, this is a RuneLite plugin, and it will actually allow you to see the specs that you've landed on the monster that you're fighting. So as you can see, we're up to 906 damage with the BGS, and we want to get over 300 plus uh, damage with the BGS. This way, the Corpus Magic level will be um, lowered a lot and its magic ability won't won't even barely hit you all right so we're slowly getting up there now you also want to have the teleport tab thing set up in your house so you can actually just use the jewel ring inside of your house to get to the bank um, I don't have that set up on this med level character, so I'm just using a jewel ring and a games necklace to do the teleports and also house tabs. Right, so we're so close, nearly got 300 damage with the BGS. Now this does all take a little while, um, but once you get it down pat, you can get kills under 10 minutes easily by still doing this method. Now that we've lowered the corpse, um, stats and its defense and everything like that we should be able to kill the corp very easily so we want to make sure that the cannon is going and it's got a lot of cannon bores and you want to run in and you want to be using your fang you want to um, dump all specs of your fang um, if you can afford a karate you can do your specs with a karate it does do some good damage so the void walker uh, the void walker um, is what you can use if you have one um, but this, the um, the fang does hit very well. So the main items that you're going to be actually farming for doing the corp is obviously the sigils. And on average, if you get a sigil, it's 398k per kill. And then a bit lower 
if you don't get any sigils. So the main gold makers are obviously the sigils. Um, you can get onyx bolt tips and they add up very, very quickly and you can make a lot of gold from getting them. They're not too common to actually get to drop also. So a lot of gold um, does come in from just getting uh, the onyx bulk tip drops. Also, you get a drop of 200 cannonballs. Um, that's pretty common also and can add up and make a decent amount of the gold um, from doing corp. Now, if you want to know how much money you can make from doing this, I actually have a video on the channel where I did 10 hours of corp on this med level character and I tracked all the loot from it. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, that is on the channel. Um, so you can go ahead and see how much I made from doing 10 hours of this method on corp. But as you can see, we've still got a full inventory of food. Of food. Um, the corp is barely doing any damage on us. That is because we've lowered all of its stats so low, it barely even hits. And the cannon, um, the cannon actually will hit on the corp. Once you lower the defense enough, you actually see steady numbers coming in from the cannonball. So that really, really helps with the damage. Also, Venge, if the corp ever actually hits you, will do some nice damage back on the corp, making the kills even quicker. But the corp is nearly three quarters of the way down in health, and we still haven't used any food whatsoever. We just had to use a couple of sips of our prayer potion to keep our prayer up. There, the corp did just hit us. We might as well just eat up to four. There's no point. Um, we probably didn't need to eat, but I just like to stay full health when I'm doing the corp just to be safe, to save any problems. Every time that you get your spec back with your Fang, I would recommend using it or using a Karasi with your spec. Now the best thing to use is a Divine Super Combat Potion. This way you can keep your, your um, strength and attack all the way as high as possible as they can be. Um, and it won't lower down your stats over time. But we're pretty much coming up to the end of the corp kill. We've still barely had any damage on us. If there was any gear that you could change, if you had more gold to play around with the gear, you could get a Torva helm and Torva legs, and that would be enough to actually um, not take too much damage from the magic ability, and you'd still be very viable to do it, and you'd do a lot more damage than this setup. I really like this setup though because you have so much defense in full Missouri and in the DFS that you actually, when you're doing the specs, you pretty much never die whatsoever. All right, so there you have it. There is the solo corp kill on a med level. And what did we get? We got 250 soul rooms. Easy, 58K. Anyways, guys, that was it for the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more old school content. Let's go.